I'm going to show you uh, uh, an actual demo of uh, of an animal that I uh, I'll make with the crumpled paper style that I have. And for that, I've chosen one uh, deer. You, you can see it on my computer screen. It's like uh, uh, it's not very uh, complex uh, design or anything. Now you can see like there is a rectangular head, there are the big ears, rectangular uh, sorry uh, triangular ears, slender neck part here and a rectangular body and slender long legs these are like fairly straight and these has these have like a little bend in, in there i'll show you the materials that i uh, use uh, uh, first uh, uh, these are like a4 regular a4 paper and the weightage of the paper is 75 gsm that's uh, that's the weightage of paper that I use and I feel that's the best for this kind of uh, work. So that is there, I, there are like 7-8 things, maybe you won't need everything, uh, all of the papers but it's good to keep a few extra. Then I have uh, a regular glue, uh, like it's like any craft glue you can use and uh, then uh, I have uh, a mat stick with me to spread the glue like uh, on the uh, when you join things you need to spread the glue so that's why I use a mat stick you can take any stick sort of thing now first what I do is it's like uh, I try to uh, see the shape of the animal and and study it uh, uh, in a in a in a detailed way so that I understand how it looks in 3d how what I need to crumple what shape I need to crumple on so that it uh, it becomes like that animal Okay, so what the first thing that I do is like I, I make a sketch of the, uh, I don't know whether you can see this, yeah, uh, I make a sketch of the animal in a very simple uh, scribble kind of way so that I can understand the shape better and uh, then what I do is like once I've done this sketch to understand the shapes better then I, I further re refine it into much simpler shapes like the triangular head, the triangular uh, ears, the rectangular body and the slender legs. So this really helps to uh, understand how the forms are in a 3D space. So that really helps me to uh, make the uh, actual crumple, crumpling of the paper. So now uh, what I'll do is, uh, now uh, first thing is like the sculpture is going to be around this much size, say around 7-8 inches, uh, lengthwise and heightwise also I think around 7-8-9 inches. So for that, the head is going to be this much, say around uh, an inch or something or a little smaller. So for that, I don't need the whole sheet of paper, whole A4 sheet. So what I'll do is, I, I'll just, uh, I'll just uh, make it into two halves. Take this one half and first thing you do is you crumple the paper. And that's, uh, that, uh, that goes for every sculpture that I have done for this book and, uh, and uh, this is the style that I use. Like first you need to crumple the paper. Okay, once you've done crumple the paper, what you do is you now uncrumple it slowly so that you don't tear the paper. Now, now I'll start with the head. So now I need to make something which is triangular in shape and And, and, and the thing is like it, you, you like there's no step like uh, origami that after this step you do that or something like that it's, it's very flexible it's it's like I, I, I like to have fun with this medium so it's like I don't really think that uh, you have to really follow it to the T and uh, do something so it's basically it's it's like this this shape is there like you, you know like if I put it here like this the triangular shape is already kind of there okay now this is the part which will go into the body okay this is the neck part okay now what i'll do is now i'm going to make the uh, body part which is like a rectangular this thing so for that i will need a full pa paper uh, sheet of paper only 
So what I'll do is the first thing, I'll cramp the lift. I'll uncrumple it slowly. Now, what I'll do is I'll try to get that shape. And while I'm making the body, I'm trying to refine, I'm, I'm pressing the head a little bit so that the correct shape comes on and don't worry too much about it now now I know that okay I need to stick this bit to the neck part here for the next thing so what I'll do is I'll have I'll put in my glue here you need to uh, hold this for some time and uh, don't worry too much about the uh, shape not coming on properly. This is, it just started doing it. So eventually it will come, don't worry. <laughs> Even uh, I find it difficult to get it right at the first go. But it, since it's like a crumpled uh, paper into shape, so it's like there is a lot of things that will happen later on. Okay, So don't worry too much. You need to uh, keep it pressed because it's just a regular glue, so it will take some time to stick stick on. Now you take one half sheet of paper, you crumple it, uncrumple it. Now what you you have this head and neck part, you have the body from one side. What you need to do is you need to now I kind of uh, crumple the edges. This way. Now, what you need to do is you need to. So, this is the shape we are getting at. Okay. Like from this part, it covers the neck, goes behind the neck, and kind of gets onto the body part. Okay. So, this is the shape. You, you need to remember this bit like while making these things. Okay. So this also needs to be stuck with glue. So I'll just take this, take this off. Okay, you understand. Okay, this is coming where you keep this and you glue this thing. Now gluing at the edges and a little bit here and there is fine. Like the edges should be, the glue should be there on the edges. I'm using the matchstick to spread the glue evenly, as evenly as possible because this is kind of crumpled and uh, it's difficult. Now, if I remember it, this is what we are trying to achieve. Okay, so this is how I am going to stick it. to hold it so the, hold it for some time so that the glue uh, kind of is stuck you try to uh, shape it a little bit closer to the animal that you are making the drawings that you have done like the shape that you want it to do so it's it's going to come and that, that's the fun part of this crumpled paper thing. It's it's little, uh, it's little like playing uh, with clay or something, modeling clay. So instead of clay, this is paper. But it, uh, but there is an option where you can actually reshape the things a little bit here and there to suit your mood. Okay, so this is. Like if I, if the. Just to show you properly, the head is turned this way, but uh, eventually I will make it turn this way. Okay, and that can happen. Like, you can press it a little further here, it will stay here. Okay.
Now this bit is done. What we'll do is uh, we'll try to make the legs now. Again, I'll uh, make I'll have this one shape from the lift. Now the front legs are fairly simple. There is a bend like this and then it comes straight almost. So I'm going to try to do that. <clears throat> So this is one of the legs and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the other leg, other front leg as well before sticking it to the body. So both your legs are there. We'll handle this later on. When you stick it, it comes closer. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stick this two together now. So, remember the positions where you want to stick it. Okay. Now, these two uh, legs are done, the front legs are done. Now, what I'll do is, I'll make the back legs. Okay, the back legs you remember like it, it doesn't come straight, it goes this way and this way. Okay, one goes this way and the other also goes this way but a little lesser. Okay, so let's try to make two out of these two shapes like one half of a shape. So you can see like I made a similar kind of shape. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm going to stick this in. So your three legs are more or less done, okay? Now I'll make the last leg. This one is like this. So I'm going to check it there. I'm going to stick this leg also. Your deer is almost there. Now we're going to make the ears and the tail. I'll take so one third part of piece of paper. So I have around two sheets like this. Complete. And just check how you want to make this triangle shape. With the other ear. So we have two ears like this. Okay. Now we're going to stick it. Before sticking it, we just check for the placements okay. so your deer is almost ready and with this let's make the tail I'm going to stick it up now Your uh, 
crumple paper there is ready so this is your crumple paper art dear it's uh, i hope this demo helps you to understand how i work on this crumple paper art and uh, you can uh, actually make a uh, lot more complex uh, animals or uh, other things whatever you wish for but uh, this is uh, this is how i go about it and there is no particular uh, uh, like instruction that you have to follow or anything it's like you can just have fun with paper by giving it shape and and when you do it little slower and uh, you uh, you put in a little more effort than a hurried uh, demo job i think you can get the proportions a little better 